Right folks, today we have a three-quarter size student guitar. It's a SAG SW201. As you might notice by the position of the scratch plate, it's actually a left-handed guitar. So this guitar is really only suitable for somebody who is actually left-handed and learning to play left-handed, okay? You can see it's a stag. You can see that although the guitar itself is in bad condition, the strings are absolutely shot. It looks like whoever's had this, they have kept it in a case. However, they've never changed the strings. And one of the first things you want to do on a guitar, even a student guitar, is make sure the strings are good. I don't know if you can see just how shot they are. Um, I would say they've never ever been changed since whoever bought the guitar in, I think, 2012. Now, because it's a left-handed guitar, if you're left-handed, or if your child is left-handed, I recommend, if it's natural for them, play a regular right-handed guitar. But if they want a left-handed guitar, then I might be making this one available. Now there's another option. That is something that you can do. You can actually make this into an open tuning guitar and play it right-handed. So now remember these strings are shot. I haven't put it really into tune, I just by ear put it into an open tuning and you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Sounds pretty bad. Right, there it is with shot strings, okay? Now what I'm going to be doing is taking the string straight off, cleaning it up really nicely, um, it looked to me, before I got it, it looked to me like it was pretty straight on the neck. And the tuners, when you buy a guitar, don't forget the tuners. These tuning heads are really important. And you might find they're really lumpy. If they're lumpy, you're going to have to either put new tuners on, but you might not be confident doing that, or just walk away, okay? Because on a cheaper guitar, and these were retailing to around, I think, about 80 or 90 pounds. It's actually quite a lot for a guitar um, because it's a laminate base wood top and sides, okay? You want to make sure the hardware is all okay. You also want to make sure the nut, which is this bit here, isn't chipped or broken. I've seen guitars where the nut is chipped there and so, like, the top E's got nothing to rest on. And again, look at the bridge and the saddle. This is the bridge. Make sure there's no light in between there. It's not pulling away from the fretboard. And uh, the other thing to check is the neck joint. Now, if the neck joint, again, if it's broken away from the body, you need to walk away because it's not worth fixing a neck on a guitar like this. If it was a Martin guitar, I would, but not on a guitar like this. But overall, it's not in bad condition. But as I say, it's a left-handed guitar. This is, I wanted to do a video to show you what it looks like before I start working on it. When I finished it, I'll show you a picture of it. And I might be keeping it myself, just as an open string guitar. So I'll permanently leave it in open tuning. Um, or else if somebody does come by and say, I really want a beginner's left-handed guitar, uh, then I'm willing to sell this one on, okay? This is Johnny Ruffle with Basic Guitar Tech. I'm not a luthier, but I love instruments. And I love taking instruments such as this stag and making something of it that it wouldn't be otherwise. 
So there we are. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Johnny Ruffle.